Hello, welcome to this detailed video about post purchase upsell campaign, which is a part of upsell WP plugin. Now, post purchase upselling is a fantastic opportunity to offer our valued customers an additional product after they have completed their order. Our convenient upsell WP plugin allows you to effortlessly display the upsell product with just one click of the place order button. This method has been widely embraced on e-commerce platforms as it eliminates the need for customers to re-enter payment details. Plus, it's a great way to increase your store's revenue. Let's see how to create a post-purchase upsell campaign for WooCommerce using the Upsell WP plugin. To get started, if you have forgotten to install and activate the plugin, then it's my gentle reminder for you to do so. After the installation and activation of the plugin, you can go to your WordPress dashboard and look for the plugin here. Now go to the campaigns tab to start creating a new campaign. Click on the create new campaign button, which will take you to this page where you get the opportunity to select the campaign type. The campaign type for this particular video is going to be a post purchase campaign. So let's find that out and click on create campaign button. Now comes the campaign name. You will have to enter a name here for the campaign. I'm going to call this a post purchase upselling campaign. After the suitable title is given comes the offer section. Now one thing to keep in mind for post purchase upselling is that the upsell product will be presented after customers click the place order button. With that, let's go to the offer product. Click on add offer, which allows you to decide the offer product, which is basically presented as the upsell product. Now the product that I'm going to choose here is going to be cap. Then comes the quantity field. So here you can either leave it empty, meaning customers get the opportunity to buy as many quantities they want, or you can also go for fixed quantities. Next comes discount type. I'm going to be offering this particular upsell product with a fixed discount of $30, but you also have other options that you can find. Great. Now on the preview, you'll be able to view the product price and its details as well. Next comes usage limits. The first one is overall usage limit, which applies to the campaign as on whole. But next comes the usage limit per customer, which applies to each customer. If I set one here, overall usage limit, then it means that the campaign, the entire campaign will run only once. After which it won't function anymore. Similarly for usage limit per customer, if you set one here, it means the limit per customer will be just once. Nice. The good thing about the upsell WP plugin is that you have opportunity to customize the look and feel of this particular offer page for this post purchase campaign. Let's see how to do that. For this, you may have to go to the page contents and here you can find the offer title and offer description, which you can customize according to your own needs. Then comes the offer CDA text, which is a call to action button for your customers. And then you can also choose your own product image for this particular upsell offer. Next comes page styling, which we will talk about a little later. And then, and then all you have to do is save this particular offer. Next comes timer. If you want to go for expiration countdown timer for this particular upsell offer, you can also opt for it by simply clicking on this checkbox and filling out the necessary details like the duration, message and the short codes that are available to retrieve certain values. Then comes condition. Now let us start introducing a condition to this particular post purchase campaign. And that condition is going to be presenting the upsell offer only for purchases worth $500. So for that condition to be established, we'll have to click on add condition button and choose a condition type here. There are different conditions you can set. The condition that I'm going to select for this particular video is going to be order total greater than or equal to 500, which means only for purchases worth $500 and above this particular upsell offer will be presented. Let's click on save and here we have set the condition now. Nice. Next comes the other optional settings such as priority, start date if you want to go for this scheduled campaigns for 
a certain time period then you can also do that the only difference between the scheduling of the campaigns and then the timer here is that if you enable this timer and set a time duration for this particular offer it means it increases the curiosity of customers into adding this upsell product quickly to their offer so that they don't miss out on this upsell product for example this is the offer that i've created and i've set the limit to five so you can notice that the timer is displayed here a countdown timer which basically encourages or entices customers into adding this particular upsell offer and not skipping it that is it and scheduling the campaign is to set or start an end date for this campaign after which the campaign won't function anymore that's it there you go and for the countdown timer you can also customize the message if you want nice now these are the additional settings that you will have to know about the campaign configuration and then save and close this campaign before which i'll turn off the timer for now great save and close only upon the condition that we have set being met the upsell product will be presented to the customers now it's time to check it for testing i'm taking you to the storefront now remember we'll have to qualify in order for the upsell to show so let's go ahead and fill our cart with items worth 500 or above i'm going to be adding two of these and let's go to the cart and increase the quantity so that we qualify for the offer okay, increasing this to two now and updating the cart now our total value is 518 dollars which means we have met the condition right now let's proceed to check out and you may not see any upsell offer here because it requires for us to place the order this is post purchase upselling by the way so click on place order now you will be able to see your upsell offer this is the product that we have decided to be the upsell offer now if they click on this add offer to my order then this particular upsell product gets added to the original order and then the payment is processed if they skip the offer by using this skip offer button then payment will process as it is without this upsell product that's it all right so let's see what happens let's click on add offer to my order and you can notice that i've previously purchased t-shirt with logo and polo now this upsell offer is also added to the original order and you can notice that both the upsell offer and the original products come in one single order all right so this type or this subdivision is called the before payment setting for the post purchase campaign but you also have another setting called after payment now let me explain in case you would want this offer to be created as a new order then you can go to the settings of our plugin and change the settings to after payment right right now you see the upsell product and the original products are added to the same order right but if you want them individually or separately then you can go for this particular setting which i'm going to show you now let me take you to the settings tab under campaigns you'll be able to go to post purchase and here you can notice since the setting is before payment which adds the offer to the same order you were able to see something like this right now i'm going to change the setting to after payment is completed which means that the upsell offer will be created as a new order that's it you'll have to simply click on save changes well to understand after payment setting i have created another order where i have ordered these three products now let's proceed to check out you can notice that we have qualified for the upsell product now let's click on place order and the upsell offer is going to appear great now let's claim this offer you can notice that the main order and an offer order all right so you can notice that after you select the settings to after payment you can notice that the upsell offer is created as a new order for a clearer explanation i would also like to show you the orders tab and here you'll understand the difference more clearly here are the orders placed and you can notice seven minutes ago we have placed an order which is before payment so let me click on this order and show you that 
it contains both the main products and the upsell offer great now taking you back to the newly created orders after clicking on the after payment setting so you can notice the main product and offer product has created as two different orders this one right here 290 it shows the main products that we have purchased all three of them and then here's 291 which is the upsell offer added as a new order great isn't it that's it that is all about the difference between these two subdivisions you have for post purchase upselling all that you have left is to improve customer shopping experience by downloading our convenient plugin and taking advantage of the added benefit of post purchase upselling we are here to make your shopping journey even better happy upselling